Well, hello. It's me. I'm back. Surprise. It's a Saturday afternoon. I haven't been doing much the last couple of days. Literally just watching um, a load of things on uh, Disney+. Plus. I signed up for one month and then cancelled, so I'm just watching the things I wanted to watch before it actually ends. It's not actually that much on there unless you like, surprisingly, Disney films and Star Trek, Star Wars. Who'd have thought, eh? Oh well. Um, I've done my nails, cut them quite, quite short. They look a bit like nine-year-old kids' nails at the moment. Cut them short and have them all sparkly. But um, this is what I did with my new gel polish and lamp. Um, they're all right, not bad for a first go. And they're a bit sparkle. And I've ordered some more nail, like gel nail polishes as well. Um, yeah, exciting stuff. Bet you can't guess what's in this box. Well, we'll come to that in a minute. Or that one. Or this one. No. First things I'm actually going to show you are some things that um, I kind of showed you the other day. Now, you know I, how I normally finish on a bit of gold and fresh metal. Well, we're going to start with them this time. So you saw me uh, the other day in a vlog, if you watched it, obviously you might not have watched it, um, trying to fix these things. This necklace had um, a butterfly brooch just glued to it. And so I soaked it in acetone and there's just the smallest amount of glue left to come off this. So hopefully I'll be able to get these two tiny little bits of residue off, should be able to. And I'll have to, I think, change the clasp on it because I don't think that that is a gold clasp. So that bit isn't gold, but for the rest down, it's 14 karat gold. So worth saving. I'll probably have a pendant or something that can go on it. And then this, it was all bent out of shape. It's nearly pretty good. I did see this in a little bundle of bangles. Um, I just saw that pretty diamond cut bangle. And then I saw it's ever so faint, ever so, ever so faint, a tiny little hallmark there. So that's nine karat gold. Definitely worth saving that one. Okay, so what's in the boxes then? Go on, I'll show you before we get into uh, oh, that bunch of stuff. So this one I got when I was down in Penarth. I think it was not last week, the week before. This is how long it's been, see? Um, this is a sterling silver and marker seat brooch. See, I've got the little oak leaves with the marker seat and the oak leaves and then a tiny little acorn there. This has been cleaned, but over cleaned. Can you see? It's like almost too white and bright. So what I'm doing every so often is just covering it in my own hand grease, <laughs> which I know sounds pretty grim, but doing that, I find helps take it back to a normal silver color rather than this overshined whiteness so it's a shame someone was a bit too eager with the polishing and they could have taken out the marker seat but thankfully they didn't thankfully so that'll be nice for autumn won't it this one yeah you can guess it it's a poo bear i like it because it's miniature you will need a little clean but not a vigorous one. Look at his little jumper. Quite cute. Probably um, like a little christening present or something that would be quite cute for. People seem to like the Winnie the Pooh stuff for, for babies and expectant mums and things, don't they? And then this one. I bought in Bridgen the other week. She wasn't sure whether or not it was silver. 
I'm like, I like it anyway. Um, and I managed to find a little 925, a tiny little uh, 925 on the lobster claw in there. But super pretty little bracelet with these little cutout leaves and jade. So I think that's quite a lovely little charm bracelet. It's not a high quality jade because if it was a higher quality one, it would be um, a darker and more solid and bright colour, but still very, very pretty. Still a very nice thing to wear. Okay. I found I've been selling a lot of bangles and bracelets recently, so I'm going to show you a bunch of cool ones today. We've got another little uh, one for, for baby, for a small person. So I don't know about you, but I had one of these when I was little. Mine wasn't as cool as this one. Mine was just um, a plain one with like scrolly flowers on. But I like this one because of the belt. Um, I think that's a very Victorian thing, isn't it? Having like the belt loop or belt buckle. So I don't know when this was made. There's no hallmarks, it just says silver. So it might even be foreign, possibly, don't know. But yeah, I just think that's quite nice. It's cute. It's small, and although I don't like small people, I do like small things. <laughs> this one um, I just got because of the Egyptian sphinxiness of it. Did you know the sphinx has a tail? I didn't know that until recently. I like the little bit of faux turquoise in there. This isn't a precious metal or anything, and it has got some wear. You see someone's uh, really enjoyed wearing this because you can see the copper underneath coming through. But um, I think that almost just adds to it. Like if the copper was coming through on there, give it a bit of an aged look. I think it would actually just enhance the look of it. But yeah, I think uh, Egyptian stuff quite nice for the summertime, isn't it? Let's not mention holidays again, shall we? This, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. Nice brass bangle. Um, but etched, see, with this lovely, like, reeds and a stalk. Maybe slightly Japanese looking. I remember in school, we used to um, do etching, like, onto, um, what would you call them? Circuit boards. And you would, like, darken out with I think just a black pen like the bits that you wanted to leave as it were and then you dip it in this solution and then it would um, like darken and take away the rest so I wonder if that's how this has been done I know you can do it with photographs as well onto some metals I'd maybe like to try that one day actually that would be quite cool mm. This is a bracelet very similar to one I've had before um, by Sergio Gutierrez, 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 something like that. Um, that one had SG on the little pop class, but unfortunately this one doesn't, so it's not a real, not a real Sergio, but the design is almost identical, so, and it moves in exactly the same way, so when I saw it, I was like, oh yes, another one of those, because it's sold for quite a decent price but unfortunately it's a it's not a real Sergio but it's a very very good imitation one and even the imitation ones especially in America still get decent prices but of course I'm not going to be saying this is fake Sergio in my listing because that would be rude it's just going to be Liquid metal, I think is the phrase they use for it. This is cool. I'll come back to it in a bit. A name to look out for, LR, which I think is Lola Rose, isn't it? Um, that does lots of uh, like precious, semi-precious stones on bracelets and bangles. Um, I'm not a particular fan of this. 
and you know with the rose gold and things it's not really my kind of style at all but it's something that it's quite uh, common to perhaps come across in charity shops and things because you know you can easily confuse that with lots of other cheaper brands I suppose you know that are doing sort of similar things but in not a good quality perhaps but um yeah keep it an eye out for those in charity shops because they still get decent money even second hand I'm not talking like in the tens of pounds but certainly a few quid this I bought from Cowbridge the other day and I love it. It is super heavy. When I saw it, I thought, um, I didn't see the whole thing. I thought like, oh, is that marble plastic? But you pick it up and it is so, so heavy. And it's a fab, fab, lovely cold stone. Really super well made this. I don't know what stone it would be. I love the floral kind of shape to it. It's so much fun. Why is the music pause? Don't pause. What's the matter, internet? We might not have music. Internet is failing. Oh well. Okay. This again I bought from Cowbridge the other day. I thought, oh, that's a nice little boat sailboat pin made by inmate of Maine State Prison so I don't know if that's maybe like the prisoner number down there perhaps or but yeah something a bit macabre I know but I mean you don't know what they're in prison for it might have just been you know tax evasion or I don't know a little bit of marijuana. Who can say? But yeah, an interesting bit, especially because it is still on. Oops. This little, little pricey thingy. Um, what should we do next? Ba, ba, ba. See, there's loads of bracelets in today. I really enjoyed picking them up and selling them recently. This one is a bit of sterling silver with some faux opal. So this, I think, is like um, a resin that's made to look like a fancy blue opal. Super pretty though, isn't it? I mean, look at that colour. Oh, if I could get that on my nails, that would be ace, wouldn't it? I might try that, actually. What would that be? Like a blue base coat with like a turquoise green glitter on top it's a really pretty bracelet isn't it I love the little waves in it and then this one I've got a whole bunch of charms I was hoping that this was going to be a silver bracelet but it's not but it is vintage that looks very Etruscan in design there and then just a random mix of charms. So we've got this um, Austrian or Swiss um, little bell with an Edelweiss on it. Got a little, could that be an oil lamp? And then a cable car. And a boot. A shoe. So who knows where the person's been to collect these random bits but hey it's old and well traveled hooray <clears throat> this i bought in panath the other week i it's stamp 925 and it was in a box that said silver and i was like oh i don't know because you know it's not perfectly made but then i figure well it's worth a go the stones in the top are nice moonstone and two amethyst and then i've tested it and it is indeed sterling silver and i like it because it looks a little bit like a lego piece you know like if you were to build a little lego castle those annoying three-piece ones you know but yeah an interesting little bit i might keep that on actually 
because it's fun, it's weird, it's modernist, it's bizarre. I like. Let's have a necklace. I haven't shown you a necklace yet, have I? And I've got some lovely necklaces coming up. I'm going to start on bracelets and end on necklaces. This, you know why I like this. I like this because it's nice blue faceted glass um, in a bezel set. But guess who makes it? It's just a bit of Marks and Spencers. It's a modern Marks and Spencers necklace. But that's super lovely. Probably a gold plate on there. Mm, actually, no, maybe not. It's a gold tone. Yep. But really smart. Lovely for a night out, don't you think? Yes, I'd like a night out. Thank you very much. But not one with lots of people, though. Okay, um, from Cowbridge the other day, I bought this amazing brooch. How fab is that? So it's all what look like Swarovski crystals, actually, because there's some lovely cuts to them. Some nice um, pillow cuts and brilliant cuts and baguette cuts of crystals in there. Marquise cuts. But it's not signed. So I need your help. Does anybody recognise that? It's unusual, isn't it? I'm not sure if I've seen that before. But you know the fab thing about this brooch? Is that there are matching clip-on earrings. Oh, how cool are they? They are insane, aren't they? Absolutely love them. But yeah, no maker on them. Can't see any marks. It is literally just this unusual back. So if anybody does recognise that, please do leave a comment below this video and let me know. That would be ace. What's next? Um, oh, I'll show you a fun ring. Isn't he fun? So like, what's that, a bull's head? Buffalo head? What do you think, a buffalo? Is it? It's not an extendable one, an expandable one. So it is quite a small size. So, um, if they go fits on there, so that it'll be about uh, an M. But that's kind of cool, isn't it? Like, especially if you like, American buffaloes, isn't there a team? I don't know. But kind of fun. A little bit random and a bit weird and gothic. Bit of a statement one. Oh look, the music's back and then it's gone again. Sorry about that. What are you? Ah, oh, I've got a couple of nice silver ear, um, necklaces. Again, I think I bought these from Cowbridge, maybe. This one, just a nice twisty shard. This was absolutely black when I got it and polished up really nicely. I think a nice high shine on something like this looks really cool. And then this one is a nice knobbly chunk of citrine. Isn't that such a lovely stone? So just a natural bit that someone's put a bit of silver on the top of. But yeah, really unusual, isn't it? Probably a good healing stone, I should imagine. Hmm. Um, another pretty stone. You should all know this one by now, I think. 10 points to Gryffindor, whoever gets this one first. Well, not Gryffindor, because I'm a Slytherin. But 10 points to whichever one you are. But isn't that lovely? A bit of Labradorite. Um, the nicest ones obviously have uh, this lovely blue shimmer to it. Looks a bit like a butterfly wing, doesn't it? And really nice chunky pendant as well. Good, lovely bit of silver in there. Yum, yum. Oh, yum, yum. 
lovely lovely and how about a tiny little bit of silver look at this a little tie pin it's fully um hallmarked v-a-n-s i think it is and it's birmingham but that's quite brutalist isn't it don't you think or at least just really unusual i mean i can see fish and mountains in there i don't know what you can see but also i'm a bit bonkers so who knows i mean if you can see other things you're more bonkers than me good luck with that is it all silver from now on i don't think so oh you're gonna love this this is cute there is bits of there, there's a lot of silver in here now <laughs> But how cute. Little Scotty dog. I haven't tested the stones that are in there. I wonder if they're diamonds. Probably cubic zirconia. Or maybe a white topaz, but super cute. It says 925 on his little belly there. And he's just as nice on the other side as well. I quite like that. The fact that you can wear it sparkle, no sparkle. See? It's just nice detail like that, that, you know, something's really well made. Um, oh, lovely. Is it Balinese? Byzantine chain. Balinese bracelet. A little bit of denting in that one there. But I don't think that detracts for me. That just makes it look even more kind of handmade I reckon but I think that is absolutely lovely that chain is just superb as well look at his articulation really nice I do like Balinese stuff um, I think I've got an ankle bracelet very similar to that as well Um, just for fun, here's a little wizard, little wizard charm, and he moved. Oh. Isn't he fun? I love that. Little whiz. Right, um, Anne, this is for you. I mean, it's not for you. <laughs> but I mean, like, I'm showing this because of you. Um, this, you would hope, would be one, another one of those Louis Rousselet, the uh, French bead maker. You'd hope that this is would be another one of uh, his necklaces. I don't think it is. And the only thing for me that says it's not is the wrong clasp. Everything else about it says it to me. So, nice glass beads. These lovely end caps, these filigree floral beads, really nice. And these filigree kind of pointed oval beads. It's on chain, see, it's on chain rather than on material. But the clasp is sterling silver rather than um, like a metal barrel clasp, a screw clasp. So I, I don't think that this is, I think it's a very good similar make of the same time but i know Anne was bidding on some of these and i don't know um i don't know whether they ended up being rousselet or if they're similar to these it's still gorgeous it's still of that era and still probably worth a decent amount of money so i'm happy that i found those anyway because do you think they're bloody gorgeous? What do you think, Anne? Let me know. Some fun little bits here. So, some nice sterling silver earrings. And these stones in the middle. See how lovely and faceted they are. Gorgeous, aren't they? These testers, ruby. Uh, 
booby is a corundum, I think that's right. Something like that. And you can get green ones. I thought that this was raw emerald. Which may be the same thing, I don't know. But whatever it is, I think that colour is blooming gorgeous. And the fasting is really super nice as well, isn't it? Do, do, do. I love green. And I'll show you another green thing in a few minutes because it's one of my favourite things that I've got this week. In fact, I'm sure they, it might be the one of the last things I show you. Um, This is just super pretty. A little bit of Mother of Pearl mosaic inlay on sterling silver. Just nice. There we go. Do you want to go there or do you want to go there? Do you want to go there? Okay, we have got one, two, three, four things left. Okay. And they're all necklaces after. Sorry, five things left. This, yeah, you know what I mean. Four things after these earrings. Little sailboats. I just thought they were lovely. So they can go next to the little prisoner sailboat there. Okay, right. My last four favourite things of the last week or so. Sorry. It's three necklaces and one bracelet. The first necklace is... I'm trying to decide which ones are my favourite now. Right. So this one, oh, you're going to be so jealous. Gorgeous Southwestern. Look at that lovely concho with bright turquoise and what's the blue? Lapis. Probably reconstituted. But yeah, on uh, liquid silver strands. And then... It has got marks. It says sterling on there. And then there are what looks like uh, possibly Native American markings on these bits as well. But absolutely stunning, isn't it? And it says sterling on there. QT sterling. Do you know what? I didn't even see that before. Should we have a quick look? Q. T. Sterling. Let's see if anything comes up. Oh no, just loads of rings, doesn't it? Um, native. They're absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Look at that concho. It needs a bit of a polish. Or should I just leave it as it is, actually? I like that it's all at different stages of tarnish on the silver beads. I know. I thought you'd be jealous. You should be. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. There's one on there for £83. Yeah. Looks like that was a pretty good find. Yay. Next one. I thought this was just a nice little piece of costume jewellery with some lovely, very, very delicate light blue beads. I think this is some kind of um, maybe Buddhist, perhaps, symbol. I think it's called the Seven Mothers. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's it. It looks like a little temple, sort of. And it is in sterling silver. There's sterling silver on the clasp there. So I'm yet to test what the beads are, but they are so beautiful and delicate. It might be a spinel, perhaps. But yeah, from what I thought was just a little innocuous bit of costume jewellery, I actually think that this is super lovely. But if anybody knows anything like about that symbol, do let me know in the comments or what you think the beads might be. Okay, two favourite things. 
yeah, I'm going to go with the other necklace and I'll show you the bracelet last. Just because I think it's fun. Um, yeah, I just think the beads on this are stunning. Look at that. There's so many different levels of colour in there. Like a proper rainbow whirlpool of glass. So beautiful. On brass as well. So I think this is probably Venetian glass. So beautifully well made. Graduated glass beads. Nice and heavy as well. And in such good condition. Don't think I saw any chips or anything on this. But they just look like little planets, don't they? Little universes. Oof. I know. I know. I know. Gorgeous. And then my favourite bit is just a bit of costume. Not even precious metal or anything. Um, and these aren't even real stones. But I love this. I was hoping that it would be silver and malachite. But it's not. It's just metal. Possibly silver plated. And then these are plastic. It's Z and M. And that's what I thought. It's like, well, that's quality. I mean, look at the inside of that. The way that that's done. There is a brand out there called Zoe and Morgan, I think. But I haven't seen anything like this on their website. Um, and it is a stretch. And I do get very scared with stretch ones. But I love that it's so punk rock. It's not something that I would wear just because I would be scared of the stretchiness of it and that I would break it, but I think it's awesome. I love the color of this, like of the green stones. I obviously wish it was silver and malachite because then, you know, this would be a couple hundred quid, wouldn't it? At least. But as much as I test it over and over again, I just can't get it to say that it's silver, which is a blooming shame. I might just test it again though, because it really does look like it. Anyway, just awesome. Way to put that now. Oh, I don't want to hide any of these lovely bits. Okay. Well, that's it for today, folks. If there is anything else, or if there is anything here that you have taken a liking to. Um, is there anything off the cards in this week? Is there anything that I'm like, ooh, that's mine? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I do really like this. And I'm going to look into that a little bit more. But yeah. Um, please do message me. Not through eBay or Etsy or um, anything like that, please only message me via Instagram or email and the links to those are underneath this video in the description box. But yeah, let me know if there's something you fancy. Anyways, for now, until next time. Bye bye now, bye. Oh, look at those pretty glittery nails. Bye bye.